Hey, what's up, my frag heads? It's your boy J Rock. Today I'm gonna be hitting you with another fragrance review. Today we're gonna be reviewing this from the house of Antonio Banderas. It's Blue Seduction. It's a huge bottle. Uh, here's the box. 200 mil. It's a picture of him on the back. Oh, there's other info down there. Uh, it was about 20 bucks on um on fragrance net i believe twenty dollars uh 200 mil bottle that means it's almost a size it's the size of two regular bottles right for 20 bucks it's a pretty good deal uh here's the tap the cap is plastic it's like chrome pretty light nothing too fancy just the basic label let's check out the sprayer don't smell it immediately because you will get that alcohol smell little harsh in the opening because it is a 20 dollar fragrance guys remember that so um let me get let's see what we get here you immediately get that bergamot some fresh citrusy uh type of smell okay let me let it dry down settle down a little uh based on the name blue seduction what story is this trying to tell us or what is it trying to do right so it's called blue so you're thinking mass appealing fresh aquatic fragrance uh blue fragrances usually are like that they're mass appealing and they're a lot of times they kind of have that aquatic type of vibe and then it says seduction so i guess it's also gonna be for like nighttime kind of seductive at least that's what they're going for based on the name right now here as it dries down a little bit i get some type of um i get some type of like it's either like coffee or, or nutmeg type of smell almost like a mocha so you get that bergamot you get the uh, the mocha the mocha and you start getting a little bit of a fruity vibe you get some melon so you get the the bergamot and the melon together they give off a very fresh inviting type of uh smell i'm digging it and then that uh let me see what it got let me see what it got guys okay this says it has melon bergamot mint black currant on the opening notes then it has seawater green apple cappuccino cardamom nutmeg on the mid notes and amber and woodsy notes in the dry down I don't know if that's nutmeg or cappuccino that I'm picking up, but I do get a slightly like a sweet type of smell along with the fresh fruity smell of the melon and the bergamot. I don't really get a seawater. I don't get like an aquatic, oceany type of smell. Don't really get the green apple. I wish I, I wish I could smell that a little more. The green apple, but I definitely get the melon, the bergamot, and something that just stops it from just being a fresh it, it gives it a little umph to it a little um complexity if you will is that nutmeg i believe or, or it could be the cappuccino i'm not sure but those are three main notes i get now is this a compliment getter uh yeah this, this yeah this is gonna pull compliments for sure very mass appealing okay so about 20 30 minutes into the fragrance I'll say more like 20 minutes maybe even a little less that green apple does start kicking in if, if you look for it it's there now that i know what not to look for i was kind of looking to see if i get some of that green apple and it does creep up after a while so right away in the open you're gonna get that melon and that uh bergamot and you know give it 15 20 minutes and you start getting some of that green apple i feel like i get that nutmeg or cappuccino smell Fairly on, I think it says it's in the middle note, but I get it pretty quick. Like in the first five minutes, I started picking up on it. Um, so yeah, those are the main notes I get from this. And uh, this is a compliment getter. It's very easy to pull off. Cheap, 20 bucks for a huge bottle. And you're going to need this big bottle too, guys, because this is um the, the projection on this. For like the first 20 minutes or so, it projects pretty good. 30 minutes in, it doesn't project that strong. It's not quite a skin scent. 
but it's it's getting there. It's teetering on that uh, skin scent level, right? And I get about two to three hours with this. The longevity, at least on my skin, is not the best. I would be more comfortable saying two hours. Just you know, I, I will say uh, if I spray 15, 20 times, I might get three hours. But if I go 10, 12 times, I get around two hours. And uh, so it's a good fresh out of the shower fragrance. Or if you're just going somewhere real quick and coming back to the gym or something, you could throw this on. Go with eight sprays or so if you're going to hit the gym for an hour. You're going to go somewhere where you're not going to be there all day. It's a nice one. Uh, but don't count on it to get you through a full day's work. It's not going to get you there. It's not even going to get you to lunch. Right? At least in my experience, it's not going to get you those, not even halfway there. Not going to get you four hours. going to get you about two. But for 20 bucks, this is a real good deal. This is a type of fragrance you could keep in your car. Just respray when you're in your car. You go somewhere to the store or whatever. And then when you get back in your car after you're there two hours or whatever, just spray again. Because you have plenty of it. You will have to spray. You, you know, apply about two or three times during the course of the day. If you want to be rocking the scent for the whole day, you have to reapply every two or three hours. So that's going to be at least three times. And... If you keep it in your car, I mean, it's only a $20 fragrance. It's, if it goes bad, it's not that big a deal, right? I would get a decan. Get like a 60 mil decan. Keep that in your car. When it runs out, you can another 60 mils and so forth, right? Because it's such a huge bottle. It's, you know, 200 mils. I hear people compare this fragrance to Versace Mano Fresh. I think it's, it's, it's a lot different. It has some similarities where it's like in the same ballpark, but I think they're, they differ quite a bit. I honestly, based on just the scent itself, I kind of like this one more than the Mano Fresh. But the Versace it projects a little more. It will last you longer. So overall, I think that might be a better buy than this will because I'm not the type of person that likes reapplying over and over during the course of the day. I like to apply once and be done with it until I get back home. Then once I hop in the shower, maybe throw on another fragrance or reapply that one. But I don't want to be reapplying every four hours. I, I the, my, my fragrances, they don't have to be beast mode, but I don't want them, um, I don't have, to, I don't want to be reapplying every two or three hours, right? So, so yeah, they have to at least last about a good five hours or so. Uh, that's the one problem with this. Like I said, it's, it's good. It has its uses for after the shower, gym, and so forth. So the, the one big downfall for me is the performance on it. Uh, overall, for 20 bucks, I think it's totally worth it, guys. The smell itself is, is, is a great smell. Like I said, I like it more than the Mano Fresh. And we're going just on scent alone. And I pick up Perform like that once, <laughs> then you'd have a killer. Then it wouldn't be 20 bucks, right? It'd probably be uh, around 40, 50 bucks for a 200 mil. But now for 20 bucks for 200 mil, if you could find it on that price on, on Fragrance Net, I say it, it's worth a try. You know, add it to your card next time you make an order. It's worth checking out. Especially if you do hit the gym or you go, go jogging or whatever, you know, it's going to get you through that workout. Got, all right, guys. So that's all I got for today. Uh, hopefully you hit that like button and any questions or comments, leave them in the comment section down below. Check you guys out next time.